Do you want to turn your 2D or flat looking ebook cover into a 3D realistic looking ebook cover like the one you're looking at right now? Well, in this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to do it step by step using Canva. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Aurelius, and on this channel, I share my tips, tool reviews, and training to help you build and scale your digital business. So if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications too, so that you don't miss a thing. Now, before I go ahead, this tutorial does show you how to create a 3D looking ebook cover using Canva and no other third party tools. But if you are looking for a third party tool that actually does it, I'll link up the card here to another tutorial that I've posted. With that said, let's get to the tutorial. Okay, first things first, what we are going to do to speed up the process of actually designing our ebook cover is to leverage on Canva's pre-designed templates. So for this, what we're going to do is search for ebook cover using the search feature. From here, select one of the templates. I'm going to select the September one here. That looks pretty cool. Adjust whatever text and fonts that you want, including the image. If you want a more comprehensive tutorial on designing your eBooks, I'll link up a card here to another relevant video. With this particular template, there are other pages here which I won't be needing. So I'll just click on delete, deleting again, delete again, so that all the other pages are gone. Now, let's say you've finished designing your eBook cover. Click on download and then clicking download again. Now from here, we are going to click on add new page. We're simply using this blank canvas to place our now downloaded image. So on my computer, I've got it saved here. All I need to do is just drag and drop it here. It's going to upload it to my uploads. Now I'll just adjust it a little bit bigger, but we can make those adjustments later on anyway. Now for this next step, we are going to give it that 3D look by going to elements and choosing the square shape. Clicking that once, we are going to adjust it so that it fits exactly like our cover here. So let's just adjust it. We're then going to change the colors to something like a light gray. So from the default colors, you can choose this light gray. Next, go to position, click on backward. That'll position it backward. You can't see it now because now it's hidden. But if we just drag this front cover, you can see this. Now, depending on how thick you want your book cover to look, that'll determine how many you will then duplicate. So that's the next step. We are going to duplicate. I'm just going to duplicate that once. And now selecting the front cover, position it to the forward. And then, so it looks like something like that. Now zooming in, you can see the page effect there. And that's the kind of look that we want. So again, if you do want more of a thicker look, then duplicate that layer again. With Canva, sometimes it's hard to work with layers that are behind another layer. So the trick or shortcut here on your keyboard, hold on your Mac keyboard if you're using a Mac, hold the command key, or if you're using Windows, use the control key. And then if you use your mouse and click another time, that'll select the layer behind the front. Then if you click again, that'll select the layer behind that one. So what I am going to do is adjust the middle layer. So clicking again, clicking again, holding my command key on my Mac. There we go. We want that layer there. And on my keyboard, I'm just going to use my right arrow, up arrow, so that we can make that adjustment. Looks like the pages are a bit closer together. For my front cover, I'll do the same. We don't need to get it exact at the moment because the next step now, you'll see that it doesn't quite blend in. You can see it looks obvious and it doesn't look realistic. This is fine here at the bottom right corner. We want that actual effect. But for the top left corner, what we're going to do is go back to elements and search for octagon. From the options here, we are going to select the solid octagon here, not the ones with the outline. Let's click that. Now let's first change this to a color that's completely different to everything else here. Let's say a black color. I'm gonna zoom in a bit here. So using my mouse, I'm just gonna hold my command key or on your windows, you can use control, then zooming in and out. We're gonna follow this guide here on the edge. So keeping that same angle. We can also alternatively rotate the actual octagon, but let's keep it simple and follow this. If you zoom in a bit more, you can see that the pages actually stick out by a couple of pixels. So it's an easy fix. Let's first fix this so that it's the same alignment as the actual layer behind. 
So I'm just tweaking using the arrows on my keyboard. What I wanna do is align it to the front cover's corner, the blue corner there, and then adjust the rest. Let's go select the middle layer like that. Move it maybe a pixel to the right. As long as it's hidden, you can still see that it still shows there. So I'm gonna put it to the right one more touch and same for the back. Maybe two pixels. So that looks pretty good there. The next step, once you've made those tweaks is selecting the octagon, click on crop. And from here, we are going to just crop it so that it's aligned to the edge of the actual front cover. So that looks pretty good there. I'm just gonna now let go of my mouse, click on enter. And even if you make a mistake, you can see with me, I've got maybe a pixel or two out. So I'm just gonna select the octagon move it two pixels or one pixel to the left. Let's see how that looks, perhaps one more. And there we go, so let's zoom back out. Now with that out of the way, we can click this and go and position it to back. And of course, what we can do now is change the color to the same gray as all these other pages. So let's select that same gray color. And there we go, let's zoom out to see what we've already completed. So there we go, that's the look right there. And of course we can make our final adjustments by selecting all of it. If we wanna make it a bit bigger, we can do so like that. And from here, we can download a copy. Now, if you don't have a pro account, you won't be able to save it as a transparent uh, image, which basically takes out the background so that you can use it for whatever web page with whatever background that it uses. It is an easy fix, but if you just select the back, change the color to whatever color you want. So let's say yellow, you can do so like that, or blue, you can adjust it that way. Little tip here, if you do wanna make adjustments to the actual book cover, go back to your actual original book cover, changing whatever you need to with the fonts and the titles, all that, save it, then simply replace whatever's here, just deleting it, and then re-uploading the image back to your cover. So there you have it. That's how you create a 3D looking ebook cover that you can now use on your website. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications too, so that you'll be the first to know of any tips, training and tutorials that I post up here on this channel. Stay tuned to watch these next relevant videos coming up. Ooh.